இலங்கையில் இடம்பெற்றதாக கூறப்படும் யுத்த குற்றச் செயல்கள் தொடர்பிலான விசாரணை பொறிமுறைமை விரைவில் ஆரம்பமாகும் என முன்னாள் ஜனாதிபதி சந்திரிகா பண்டார் நாயக்க குமாரதுங்க தெரிவித்துள்ளார் கொழும்பில் நேற்று செவ்வாய்க்கிழமை இடம்பெற்ற ஊடகவியலாளர்கள் சந்திப்பில் கலந்து கொண்டு கருத்து தெரிவிக்கும் போதே அவர் இவ்வாறு தெரிவித்துள்ளார் இதன்போது அவர் மேலும் குறிப்பிடுகையில் There have been various problems that arose from the war, especially at the end of the war. Uh, it is said that there were serious violations of human rights uh, at the conclusion of the war. இலங்கையில் இடம்பெற்றதாக கூறப்படும் யுத்த குற்றச்சாட்டுகள் மற்றும் மனித உரிமை மீறல்கள் தொடர்பிலான விசாரணை பொறிமுறை விரைவில் ஆரம்பிக்கப்படவுள்ளதுடன் இந்த விசாரணை பொறிமுறையானது இந்த மாதம் அல்லது அடுத்த மாதம் அளவில் ஆரம்பிக்கப்படும் இந்த விசாரணை பொறிமுறையின் ஊடாக கடைநிலை ராணுவ உத்தியோகத்தர்களிடம் விசாரணை நடத்தப்பட மாட்டாது படையணிக்கு பொறுப்பாக கடமையாற்றியவர்களிடம் குற்ற செயல்களுக்கு பொறுப்பு கூறுதல் தொடர்பிலான விசாரணைகள் நடத்தப்படும் இதன்போது சர்வதேச தொழில்நுட்ப ஒத்துழைப்பு மேற்கொள்ளப்படும் என்ற போதிலும் வெளிநாட்டு நீதவான்களின் பங்களிப்பு இருக்காது என்றும் கூறினார் while respecting the fundamental rights of the of the enemies uh, at least some of it uh, so there is that issue of dealing with accountability of uh, finding out whether actually those uh, so called human rights violations have occurred if so uh, what do we do uh, against those who have perpetrated those acts all that is called the truth and accountability process and uh, sri lanka had a very serious problem with the rest of the world with the international community on this issue because a previous government refused to accept that there was any such thing and refused to look at the issue therefore we were ostracized two or three resolutions were brought against us at the geneva human rights commission uh, aid to sri lanka had almost frozen up dried up though that was not talked about the, the donor community had almost stopped giving us aid which was one of the reasons for the economic problems that we had and the government having to go for commercial loans at exorbitant interest rates uh, and all that and of course the interest rates also included the commissions that were paid out to various people so uh, so all these problems were there Uh, the government is seriously looking at has looked at uh, what the truth and accountability process should be there was a call from the international community for an investigation carried out by the human rights commission um uh, most sri lankans don't agree with that uh, this government doesn't either uh but i think we came to that situation Uh, because the previous government refused to do what they as a sovereign st- state should have done which is to investigate and punish whoever were the perpetrators of those uh, war crimes uh, this government has accepted that if we, we, uh, they they will investigate into those uh, allegations that they will take action uh, but not only have we uh, made statements we have uh, the government has also uh, formulated a, a policy a whole policy which consists of setting up four different institutions for the process which will look at the issues uh, and one of the four institutions uh, uh, comprises also of a special courts which will be uh, led by sri lankans Uh, with international technical assistance where ever required expert ex- assistance and all that so this is to tell you that that process we have taken that issue from the international stage back into our own hands and we have we are setting up an internal mechanism a domestic mechanism to uh, handle the issue